Hello again, it's time for another project. Today's is going to be a tribal mask. If I can just show you what we're doing. We're going to put that one onto this A4 size piece of wood. This is just basic, I call it shelving wood from your DIY store. It comes in whatever length you like. And I always get them to cut it down to A4 size, which is literally just short of 12 inches. 8.7 across something like that and it just fits perfect so we've got our image there now the best way I do it is just simply just to tape it onto your piece of wood like so and throw some carbon paper underneath once your carbon's underneath there literally you're going to draw around the whole lot the good thing about drawing around it you can use this stencil template time and time again some people can stick this straight down and route over the top of it that doesn't work for me so once you're drawn around it you'll end up with something like so and that's what we're going to do today if you notice i've numbered this because there's going to be four different depths to it so ever look at your image work out that the nose is going to be the pointiest then we go down to the eyes, down to the cheeks, and down to the back cheek, shall we call it. So just mark your numbers out. Obviously, it's over just what, half an inch thick, slightly more, inch maybe. So we haven't got a lot of depth to play with. It's not like working on a big chunk of wood. So just bear that in mind when you start routing it out. So four depths. Roughly, it'll be that much. You can see that per cut. So let's crack on and get this routed out. The bits I'm going to use are just the Imperial, excuse me, yeah, an Imperial cutter, one eight by half inch, big quarter inch shaft on that for my kind of router. And I like these little CNC bits. These are really cool. Give you a nice straight cut on smaller bits if you're struggling to get them with that. But you will want to collet it with that to make it quarter of an inch shaft so it fits your router. So we're all set up. Let's start routing out. Right, we can see from that, I've done the mouth. I think that's deep enough. Just past the halfway mark. Obviously, we'll bring it up slightly a bit more to the teeth. Before I do the teeth, I will cut the grooves in first. And then when we cut that section out, it will to leave the grooves to where the teeth are. What I'm going to do before that, just to make it a bit easier for myself when I do these end bits. We're going to put this on the uh, fret saw, scroll saw. We're going to cut it all out first. And like I say, when I come to do these side bits, I can literally just run off the edge with the router without having to dig all that out first and then going around with the scroll saw afterwards. So let's get it on the scroll saw and cut it out first. Okay, we've got that cut out nicely. We'll sort these edges out with sander afterwards when we come towards the end. Like I said before, this will make it easier when I come to take these sections out. We can basically just skim off the top, off the sides there. No problem. Same with this one here. When all that comes out, we can skim that off. Down there. Same, all around the eye, we can just skim it off. Just going to make life just a little bit easier. So we'll continue with the teeth now. Do all the deepest sections first. This allows you more space for your router to run on. You might be tempted to go around the nose first, but then you're going to be in trouble just for pivoting and balancing of the router. So do all the deepest bit first, then slowly bring it up. So we'll continue and take some more out.
Right, we can see from that, we've done all our number fours, which is the deepest section. We're now going to raise the router up slightly, a couple of mil, and start taking out all the number threes, and so on. Lift it up again, take out the number twos, and obviously the number ones we don't touch, because that's the highest point. The good thing with these little CNC bits, the idea of getting right into these points here, because obviously the router bit I've got on at the moment is a little bit too wide for that. And also it was ideal for getting down in between the teeth. Obviously I'll, I'll need it again when I come to do this section here. So that's quite a point. And the round router just won't fit in there. So you have to swap and change a few times. Excuse me, that one's gone. But you can see where we're going. So let's raise the router up and we'll start taking out of these number threes. Right, the threes are all done now. The next stage is to raise the router bit slightly and we'll go around the twos, which is going to be the eyebrow, just to lower it slightly off the nose round the eyes at one time i was going to take out the center of these eyes but i'm going to leave them just just slightly up you can see from the side we don't have a lot to play with so we'll just skim around the eyes and the eyebrows and i'm going to take out this bit in the center here and apart from a little bit of sanding this will be ready for some paint going on Right, that's as far as we can go as regards to the sanding. Yeah, that's enough. I'm tempted to leave this as it is and just put some stainer on or some varnish. Because I've already done one of these in colour on one of my previous videos. But however, as it is a coloured tribal mask, I'll throw some paint on and we'll see what we end up with. Right, that's that one finished now it probably took longer to paint it than it did to route it out because I don't just paint the front or I don't like to paint the front it's also doing the the sides the tops and also these little bits down here so all that's to mask off every time get right inside and do a proper job of it Yeah, but one small tribal mask router project. Thank you for watching.